say stay home. Do you know why I am here? I am here to discuss about our first chapter of basic science in 7th standard. Have you ever seen your textbook? In your textbook, there are 10 chapters. Out of these 10 chapters, today we are going to discuss the very first chapter that is ripping gold from soil. You know that gold that we are wearing as ornaments, but here which gold is mentioned? Is that the same that we are wearing? No, it is not that good. It is what the vegetables, the fruits, whatever it is we can obtain from our soil that is meant here as gold. So, this chapter is definitely belongs to agriculture. And the techniques, modern aspects in agriculture. Dear students, please look at the first picture. What do you can see there? So many students are maintaining their vegetable garden. Am I right? Yes. And in the next picture, that means in the picture 2 and picture 3, you can see the yield that obtained from their vegetable garden. Do you know? Definitely, they will be happy, isn't it? Why they became happy? Because they got plenty of yield from their crops. Do anybody have vegetable gardens at your home? Maybe some of you have. Let me share an incident related with Babu. Do you know who is Babu? Babu was a student who was studying in fish standard. One day he was walking through the backyard of his kitchen. Suddenly he noticed that there was a pumpkin vine which is sprouted. He was become very happy and he made a furrow around it, he watered it, he manured it and it grew well. But unfortunately he could get only one or two pumpkins. What may be the reason? What do you think about it? Definitely, he was sad, isn't it? What may be the reason? Why didn't he get enough yield from his crop? Because there are some factors which influence the amount of yield from a crop. To get maximum amount of yield, there are few factors depending on it. First of all, proper nurturing is required. What is meant by nurturing? It is nothing but care. We should care the plant very well. It means we should water it, we should properly add fertilizers to them, etc. included in the nurture. So we should nurture the plant well. And the second thing is, Fertility of the soil. Soil should be fertile. Then we can get maximum amount of yield from the crop. And also favorable climate is essential. If climate is favorable, then we can get maximum amount of yield from the crop. And the most important thing is quality of seed and plant material. Dears, do you know what is meant by quality of seed here? In order to select a seed, we should care something. That is, we should select a seed from a plant which gives us maximum amount of yield every year. Then, the seed also will be good one. Then the second factor is we should not choose a seed from a diseased plant because if we choose a seed from a diseased plant then the seed also be diseased. We will not get much yield from that seed. So then the third one 
we should select a seed which is in mid span maybe you are hearing the word mid span at the first time what is meant by mid span in the age of a tree it has a its younger age or initial stage isn't it then at the same time the tree has middle age as well as old age when the tree was its middle age choose the seed at that age that is meant by mid span don't take the seed from the plant whenever it was its initial stage and at the old stage we always should select seed when it was in the mid span or middle age maybe you are aware about to produce a seedling or a plantlet or a baby plant all these are same thing we are indicating the word seedling plantlets for baby plant small plant so for producing a seedling either we will use seed otherwise we will use stem otherwise we will use leaf otherwise we will use root of a plant isn't it am i right yes so on the basis of what we are choosing to produce a new plant or a seedling we are categorize it into two one method is called sexual reproduction sexual reproduction in plants means it is a method of protection of a seedling from a seed using a seed if we are producing a new plant a baby plant that method is known as sexual reproduction for example mango in order to produce a mango seed a baby plant in mango tree we will choose the seed of a mango so that is in the category of sexual reproduction other ways in other case if we are producing a seedling with the help of stem root leaf then it is termed to be vegetative propagation what is that vegetative propagation that means we are producing new plants or baby plants either from root or from stem or from leaf for example bryophyllum it is produced from the leaf otherwise hibiscus it is produced from stem okay clear then you have a home you have a follow up activity complete the table here you can see two columns one has a heading sexual reproduction another one has vegetative propagation what you want to do here you have to find out five examples in the column of sexual reproduction as well as in the column of vegetative propagation it is a very simple work i hope you will follow me okay dear students i hope you understand the class so we are going to wind up our class now in the next session we will discuss much things about vegetative propagation so we can see in the next session very soon sign off